Welcome back viewers. Last week we left off with a huge case on the Kevin jump. So I left my bike with Seth for some upgrades. Let's see what he installed. The whole thing with Prime 9 is like when I was a kid, I think nine speed was as high as it went. And actually when I was like a little, little kid, it didn't even go that high. My first mountain bike was a six speed. It either worked or it didn't work. And then we kind of had the gear wars. We add more gears to a cassette. We need a narrower chain. We need smaller movements. There's a much smaller margin for error. For me, it's a downside. I'm not trying to fine tune my heart rate and, and shave off seconds on a Stra Strava time. I'm trying to ride. If I'm in the pain cave, I need to dig deep. I got that extra gear I can reach for. With a nine speed, you still have that. You still have that 50 tooth gear. And depending on what type of what type of chain ring you pair it with, it can go really low. You can put a 28 on there if you want, and you can spin like a spin like a crazy person to get to the top. So you still have the reliability, you still have the range. At first, it was just a nine-speed e-bike drivetrain. And the reason they put a nine-speed on an e-bike is because e-bikes have those super torquey motors and they're just pulling on the drivetrain and just beating the hell out of it. So there's a thicker chain and a thicker cassette, so they're gonna wear less. The other thing that they did for the e-bike drivetrains is they did a single push shifter. So you know you push the thumb switch and it skips like four or five gears? The single push just changes one gear at a time. And when you have an e-bike set up like that, there's less of an opportunity for it to tear everything up and for the chain to get all tangled. When we installed the Box 2 on your bike, we gave you the single push shifter just like an e-bike because I know, you know, you're just recklessly pushing that button. So now this is going to sort of handicap you a little bit on uh, destroying your drivetrain. If you miss it, we can put the other one on. But yeah, we went for the single because uh, you're, you're pretty much in e-bike mode even when you're pedaling. I headed over to Paris Mountain Enduro for the first ride on the Box 2 Prime 9. It's three stages through the South Carolina mountainside. Here's my friend Lily to tell us about the nasty crash that ended up with getting some staples in the side of her head. She is one tough pup. Right here. So I was following a girl down a trail and she crashed right in front of me. Kind of had to bail out to the side and slam my head on the rock. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you're okay and you didn't do anything bad. Those staples look absolutely crazy and it'll be great memories. Yep. So we'll see you at the bottom of the race. Yeah. My first impressions of the Prime 9 are great. No gear slipping, no mist shifts, and no clicking. I can put full weight down with no issue. Many people in the comments were worried about missing the gear options having only nine speed, but I shifted two or three gears each time when I had the 12 speed. Hey guys. I believe in you. Come on, Connie. You ready? We're just gonna go for it, go. I feel great about this Prime 9. The 9 speed allows me to drop only one gear instead of having to push the shifter two or three times, I'm automatically in the gear jump that I kind of already want. So I'm fully satisfied with just these nine gears. Thanks, Seth. I also just installed some other new parts. If you haven't seen the last video, go check it out. I installed an oval chain ring, also a set of titanium EE wings from Cane Creek. I feel like I can really tell the difference in the oval chain ring and the cranks, allowing me to pedal smoother and I'm not having any knee pain anymore. But if I tell you now the sun dies out. I don't know, it's just everybody seems to be having fun. It's a good race, good community race. There's a lot of entries, a lot of people from the southeast, so it's just good that everybody turns up and participates. Sweet, man. We'll see you around. Hey, thanks for uh, the help at Windrock, too. Woo! Stage three! All uh, right, you ready? Oh. Anyway, hey, nice seeing you guys.
So it looks like we just wrapped up stage three of the Enduro. Went over pretty well. Um, if you guys haven't noticed, if you haven't followed this guys on Instagram, <laughs> MTB Addict. So what'd you think about the, uh, what'd you think about stage one? A lot of pedaling. What'd you think about stage two? The whole thing was pedaling, yeah. but it was fun. What do you think about stage three? It was fun. That stage, one was fun. Stage had three had a little bit of everything. Yeah. yeah, stage two was pretty solid. Did you guys go down? Did you go down? No, no, I didn't go down. Nope. Did you go down? Nope. Nope. Stayed on two wheels. I didn't go down either. So we're doing really well. As far as a pack of people. <sighs> so, overall the Prime 9. It worked great. I didn't notice the spacing. After I got out of my head that it was different, it worked amazing. I think the combination with the Prime 9 plus the new oval chain ring that I just got makes it amazing. My knee didn't hurt, I had a lot more fun. I'm just stoked that I could stand up on the pedals and the, the gears didn't slip and my knee didn't hurt afterwards also. So, and I also wear that giant brace every time I go out and ride. I'm, I'm, I'm set for it. I think everybody should give it a shot, check it out. I think we're actually moving in the right direction with more durability, more reliability, rather than, you know, maybe just pedaling in a gear that ain't slightly just right. Don't forget, like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next bike upgrade. I think we're gonna be checking out one of those new progressive coils from Kane Creek.